My lighting is so bad. Let's see. Hi, Rhonda. Getting my tablet fired up. Does it show ads on your on your side? I don't like my lighting. It's it's awful. Awful, awful. Is that better? It just looks yellow on my end. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to make it better. Even my last couple of videos. It looks horrible. It looks horrible. I don't, but I don't want to turn it up too much. But then it'll... Um, but it's so dark down here. Because I'm in my basement, right? So we'll try that. We will try that. Okay, so I'm going to work on ladybugs. And I didn't bring any down to show you. So I guess I'll just have to make one so you can see what it looks like. But it is all from Jade on her YouTube channel. And it's a free tutorial. And I'm using... Black glitter yarn because I think they look good in the black glitter. So I got my Timmy's, I got my coffee. So let's make some ladybugs. And I think I remember the pattern. <laughs> I'm not sure black is a good choice. Crocheting at night in my basement. Hello, Mr. Wonderful. Hello, Aiden. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But the ladybug, I think it's only like 12 or 13 rounds, so they don't take that long to do. I stream every Wednesday night. Um, it's a crochet channel. Hi, Lab. So we just we get together every Wednesday night and chat and crochet and Yes, it's a cute little bug. I should have brought one down, but I forgot, so. And I remembered my stuffing, my scissors, my needles, my safety eyes. Hi, Teresa. You can't get me on your YouTube TV? I don't make I don't make money from the live streams, no. I just I just like to jump on once a week and interact with the people who follow my channel. So if you're not into crochet, this probably you will probably find this boring. Um my channel finally did get monetized on January 28th and I verified my identity 
and now I'm trying to get um, I guess Google sends me a pin number and they mail it to my mailing address so when I get the pin number in the mail I'm supposed to go into my AdSense account and validate my mailing address and I've been waiting since February and I still don't have no pin number so I don't know if I'm ever gonna make money on YouTube because they can't seem to send me my pin number she's not good at maintaining hobbies well I'm kind of the same way I find after two or three years I lose interest and yeah but I've been doing the crocheted critters for about three years now and I'm not getting sick of it yet so that's a good sign I am feeling better I finally tested negative today so yay hi summer hi real Zorro yeah I'm feeling a lot better I'm still tired though like but I was just happy to test negative and I didn't have to worry about wearing my mask to work because that was awful. Awful, awful. Have a good night. Okay. Yeah, it's the first time I ever tested positive for COVID. And I hope I don't have to ever go through that again. <laughs> that was no fun at all. Um, but it's out there, so it's eventually gonna happen I guess right and I work in a grocery store so I'm surrounded by sick people all the time okay I think the only hard part is going to be the black um, just because it's hard to see your stitches Yeah, and I've already messed up. <laughs> okay, so I might have to count for this round and then we should be good. Because if you mess up on your early rounds, it just, it's going to throw everything off. Okay. So how is everybody? So I have a market this Saturday at the French Duck, which is a little hobby farm. And it's supposed to be minus three and snow maybe mixed with rain. So... It's not looking like a very good day. Hello, Barbara. How are you? Did did Robin come in? I'm I'm going to be making ladybugs. I forgot to bring one down to show you what they look like, but I'll make one from start to finish. Um I've made them in red, pink, purple, yellow um coral peach um and today i'm going to be making them in like a i think this is key lime green thank you amelia i need to get it trimmed it's getting kind of long it's getting kind of long hi nicole how are you I haven't seen Carrie do any lives lately, so I don't know. Um, I still follow her on YouTube, so I know she's still putting content out there, but I haven't seen her do a live lately. Yeah, I gotta make some more mini birds. Um, I had somebody, a customer at work, um, today she she came to my last market 
and she bought four mini birds and she bought all different colored chickens and she bought four but she needs one more so I'm gonna make one in I think she asked for gray she just wants it a different color I am Canadian I am in Nova Scotia she's busy yeah she's got her horses and everything right so And I think she's got a market coming up soon too, doesn't she? Yeah. So yeah, I have a market this Saturday at the hobby farm and it's gonna be cold. So she sent out the map on Monday and I'm kind of in the corner of the barn. So I'm hoping I'm near an outlet because I'm bringing my heater with me because I've been there twice and both times I froze my butt off. Hi life, is it lifey? Hi Monique. Yes, I'm feeling so much better. So much better. Oh, last week was rough. It was rough. So I finally tested negative today, so no more masks to work because I was finding that very difficult. Um, hi Robin! I'm making those little ladybugs from all from Jade. Um, I haven't made one in a couple days, so hopefully I remember the pattern. Okay, so we got just six. Okay, so now I gotta change color. Change color. Robin's in the house. That's good because, you know, it's just a matter of time before we have some shenanigans going on. It happens every week. Wouldn't be alive if we didn't have shenanigans, right? So I will try to get some footage of the hobby farm. There's a bunch of baby goats that were born last week. They're so cute. I follow them on Instagram. And I think she's starting up um, goat yoga. So their son's been like laying on the floor and the baby goats are jumping all over them. So they're kind of getting them ready to introduce them to goat yoga. It's so cute. It is, it is. But I'm not looking forward to it being cold. You've been making cats for blind bags? Trying blind bags for the first time in a show. I don't even know what those are. Yeah, what are blind bags? Fill us in. Never heard of them. I still haven't bought a, a Easter basket for my jelly bean bunnies. <laughs> so I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I'll have to try the the dollar store right here in um, in Porter's Lake. So so I don't know if the market's going to be busy on Saturday because. The weather has me a little worried. Hello, Mike. Keep an eye on him, Robin. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I jinxed it, didn't I? <laughs> oh, well, what are you going to do? What you going to do? Put them in timeout for 86,000 seconds. <laughs> good job, good job. Really? It is part of the fun, isn't it? Oh, well. Okay. I think I remember the pattern. So I'm just doing these in a bunch of different colors, 24 hours. So we don't have to worry about him anymore tonight, I guess. <laughs> which is good, which is good. What'd you do today, Robin? I didn't crochet anything this morning. I went to work. I vegged out when I got home, walked the dog, worked on some minions. So you, do you have it perf perfected now? They're cute. I sound better and I feel better, Mary. <laughs> Yes. Yep. And I think just the part about wearing the mask at work, right? Is like customers will be like, oh, what's up with the mask? Duh, what do you think? You think I'm wearing this because like I get enjoyment out of this? Give your head a shake. I'm sick. He made a squid last night and Toby stole it and ruined it. <laughs> oh, did you get it on film? That would be good good content right there. <laughs> you still haven't finished that spider, Monique? I love the spider. Well, I love all from Jade. She's she's like awesome. So she uh, she put out a tester call in her patron group. I don't imagine I'll get picked. She has probably over a thousand people in her patron, but I'm gonna keep trying. I don't know what it's what critter it is or anything like that. So it'll be a mystery. <laughs> Oh no, Barbara! Oh no! Well, I hope you're okay. Okay, so I got the head done and a little bit of the body. So now I'm gonna put in. Oh shoot! I forgot to. I gotta, I gotta crochet his um, little ant ant antennas. I never jumped on the pickle train. Um, I don't know. I just think they'd be boring to do. But they seem popular for some people. So I'm just making these little antennas that you attach to the head. <clears throat> I forgot to do that first. 
Yes, I made a bunch of these ladybugs in a bunch of different colors, and I didn't bring any down. Um, <clears throat> but I've been doing them all with black glitter parfait chunky for their heads. And it does look really cute. So, I've got green glitter safety eyes. Because I think it's fun to mat, mix and match. But the black yarn in my basement, it's kind of hard to work with. I don't know if, if I'm not in the if I don't think I'll enjoy making it I won't I won't do it right but the ladybugs are really cute and they're really easy and they're really fast so there's his little eyes So now I'm going to attach his little antenna, antenna. And the antennas, you just tie them on so they're really easy. But I'll probably make two of each color, but I did make more of the red because I think the red will be um, popular. Um, if you go on YouTube and type in All From Jade, this is a free tutorial on her YouTube channel. So, free is always good. And of course, I'm yapping and watching the chat, so it's probably going to take me a little bit longer to do these than. But I want to say I can whip one of these out in about half an hour. I don't know if I'll get $10 for these. Um, I might put $10 on them for the first two markets, and then if they don't sell, I'll lower them to 8 They are pretty stinking cute, though, so we'll see. I figured if I can get $10 for those mini birds, I might be able to get $10 for these. Hard to say. No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I'll have to go back up. Okay. You crochet a cat and you put it in a bag. Am I getting that right? Okay, so it's like a mystery. It's like a mystery bag, but it's okay. It's a surprise. Okay. People, some people like a mystery. Okay. That sounds kind of cool. So.
So when I was making these upstairs, I um, I would just make a bunch of these, set them aside, and then I would add the the accents to them later, like so on the dots and all that. But I'll make one from start to finish so you can see what it it looks like. I'll have to make some blue ones too. <laughs> Car in a bag. So my hubby's going to take me to my market on Saturday because it's in the loft of a barn. And I don't think I would do a very good job of carrying like a six, six foot table up stairs. <laughs> um, I've still been feeling pretty tired, so. And there's not really any parking there, so he's just gonna take me there help me carry all my stuff upstairs and then he's just going to take off and then come back and get me. Ah, it's all tangled. I hate tangled yarn. So when you change to, when you do the color change and you switch to green, the first row you're slip stitching in the back loops only and then the next row you're crocheting in the back loops and look at how clean that color change is. So that's a good little tip to know. I don't know that I'll do that for like all my bees and everything but. But I think for the ladybugs, it's pretty cool. Okay. Of course, I'm using scrap yarn and it's a jumbled mess. What did I miss? Somebody's telling Robin to be careful. What did I miss? What did I miss? I missed something. I don't know what I did, but okay. So oh, I don't know if I can get this untangled or not. I guess I should have done that before I jumped on. So I don't know if I'm going to get an eye tutorial done this week or not. I'm still kind of slacking. Like what, today's Wednesday and the only thing I've made is, uh, I've made one more whale from, all from Jade. And then I've just been pumping out a bunch of these little ladybugs. But being back to work's kind of drained me a little bit too, so. Oh, this yarn. Okay.
Yes. Yes, it's a good trick, I think. I'll have to try it on a B and see what it looks like. Yeah, so I did another color, like striped colored whale. It turned out so good. But it's upstairs, I didn't bring it down. Okay, so now I can start my round of decreases. Yeah, so I made one of those whales. I want to say when she first released the pattern. And I still have it. I, I haven't sold it. So I, I didn't make any more. But everybody on Instagram has been making them. And it just made me want to do some more. So... I seen the frog on Darling Maple's page. I haven't made it. I don't know. Like, I have these. And these don't sell well for me, so I don't know that I want to make more frogs. And the, the whales are actually not as hard as you think. She's got videos in there for when you add the tail and and everything, so... Pretty easy. Okay. Okay, so now I gotta add some stuffing after I have some coffee. Yeah, uh, Robin had to kick out somebody already. <laughs> what was it, like 10 minutes in? Crazy. But you knew there was going to be shenanigans. just knew it. So I've been on 33 minutes and I'm on the last round of the ladybug. So these are pretty quick. Even quicker if my yarn wasn't tangled all up. Okay. But I think for lives it's best to work on small, quick, easy stuff. Because I, I think I would have a hard time referencing a pattern. Okay, I think that's... Oh my gosh, I went on, I went on Hirschner's today because I want to get some... Well, okay, so I entered, a, I entered a giveaway on Instagram and I actually won 
a pattern pack for a bunch of different blue healer dogs. Um, and she has color changes for like bluey, bingo, like different color combinations. So, like, I'm so excited because she emailed me the patterns yesterday. But a lot of the colors I don't have. So, I kind of want to do the colored dogs that are going to sell, right? I mean, I could do just like a gray, black, and white dog. But I kind of want to do the blue and peaches and oranges and stuff. So... Anyway, <coughs> excuse me, I went on Hirschner's and yeah, because I'm really low on gray, so I wanted to get gray, but yeah, they're out of so many colors, it's not even worth it, not even worth it. So annoying. And I can't even remember the last time I went to Michael's, I've kind of given up on going there. Because they never have anything. So. All right, so we're almost done with the ladybug. I just got to add his black dots and she does the French knot method but I don't like how they the knots look so I'm just gonna sew on some dots These are so cute. Wait till you guys see these. Well, Robin already showed them on her channel, so. But. So then you take a piece of black and you just like embroider a little line to like mimic his wings and I'm just gonna sew on some black dots and then we're done okay I find the parfait chunky still hit and miss um like I have some colors that I ordered in February that are perfect. Like the yarn is thick. Um, and then I have other colors, it's crap. Okay, so I just put three dots on this side and three dots on this side. I don't go too crazy with the dots. Time is money. <laughs> but for all the other dots on the ladybugs that I did upstairs, I just used regular black. Um, but on this one, I'll just use the glitter because that's what I have down here. So. I do some dots bigger than other dots and I kind of just mix it up. The black 
dots are kind of cute too. But I was just trying to save my glitter yarn for um, and I just used regular black for the dots. Yeah, I usually have problems with the white and the tangerine. But one of my purples was kind of crappy. All right. One ladybug done. Now, on camera, he looks really psychedelic green, but it's just, it's key lime. But I did his eyes green. I, I did the French knots, but I didn't like, they're not circular, they're not. So, I, I didn't like them. I just, I, I much prefer the, just so on the dots. Isn't it cute? And I don't know. I don't know that I'll get 10 for these, honestly. Um, I might just put them at eight. Um, but they're, they're really quick and easy to do. So you can get two done an hour. That's 16 bucks. So I think that's pretty, pretty good. Now, do I want to be messing around with this green again? I don't know. That was kind of annoying me. Okay. But I might have enough for a ladybug, so might as well use it up. You're right, Mary. I can I can try them at ten. I'll give it two markets, and if if I don't sell any in two markets, then I think that will pretty much tell me that they're overpriced. But I get ten dollars for those little mini chickens, and I can make those faster than these things. I don't. Um, Robin might know a good low sew cat pattern. I have, the only cat pattern I have is all from Jade and it's, um, you have to sew on the ears, the arms and the legs, I think, and the tail. So, I think it's one of our older, older patterns. Um, Craft Go Blooms might have a low sew cat. Um, you could check out her YouTube channel. Okay, I'm going to do the antennas first because I forgot to do those first last time. Those are probably the annoying ladybugs. I think those are like the orangey colored ones and they have more white on their heads. Oh, not a low style? I'm not sure. fake ladybugs. <laughs> I think those are the kind of ladybugs that um, sometimes 
They'll get in the roof of your dog's mouth. Just counting. <laughs> yes, the M, the white M on their head. Those are the bad ones. Yep. Yeah, I seen a picture of those on Facebook not that long ago, I think. And that's how you can tell is the white M on their head. The good ladybugs, they're almost all black. I don't think I have enough stitches in this row. Just hold on. Oh no, I'm good. Okay. Black glitter yarn. Oh, I'll check out that listing afterwards, uh, Robin. I don't think I'm making any more bunnies. I think I'm good for bunnies. I haven't sold any bunnies. Well, it didn't help that I missed out on my last market either, so kind of a bummer. But I really was not feeling good, so. Is that the one that you pattern tested, Robin, the bunny? If it's the same one I'm thinking of. No? Okay. So I'm thinking of a different one. I'm thinking of the one that had like the pointy nose. So the Black Dragon is Red Mills Crochet and it's the Darling Baby Sleeping Dragon. Um, if you go back to that video on my YouTube channel, the dragon link is in the description I think the title is like ah black yarn and I think I showed I show a picture of the uh, dragon right in my thumbnail that's the only dragon pattern I have and it, it was a, it was an easy pattern to follow it's just tedious because there's so many pieces and I struggled with the wings because I'm not good with flat flat instructions. I'm used to just crocheting in the round, right? So, um, I kind of want to buy her toothless. Um, she's doing a pattern giveaway on her Instagram. Um, I won't be lucky enough to win two patterns in, in like one month, but, but it looks exactly like toothless. And I think that would be a great seller for markets. You're welcome.
Yeah, I sold the black dragon at my last market. Um, I have another dragon, so I probably won't make more until that one sells because they're so time consuming. But I did get 60 bucks for it. I probably should have had it priced a little bit higher, but yeah, I don't know. I find if you, you just have stuff priced at a certain point, it just it won't sell, right? So okay. I gotta stop crossing my legs in this office chair. Hi Chloe. I'm making little little ladybugs. <laughs> because last week I sat in my office chair crocheted and I I haven't had like I it's comfortable for me to cross my legs, but I walk like a 90-year-old woman going upstairs. And my back killed me for the next three days. And I have two markets this weekend. And I don't want to be sore. But it's uncomfortable for me not to cross my legs. <clears throat> so I'm going to try to be a good girl and sit proper. Sit proper. I wonder if I get like a little footstool, if that would help me. It probably would help me. Okay. I'm like, why does this ladybug look so much bigger than the last ladybug? Maybe I'm just not. My tension must be looser on this one. Hi, Michelle. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm too fat to, to sit Indian style in this chair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm used to uh, crocheting in my recliner. Yeah. And I don't think my husband would like me to do the live in our living room. <laughs> he probably wouldn't go for that, so... can't quench my thirst. You're in your recliner right now. I'm so jealous. <laughs> so this row here, it's just, um, this one's a little bit of concentration because there's so many increases. And yeah. Maybe if I get one of those little ottomans, you know, and I could have my, my feet up a little bit. Hi, Nancy. Okay, why does my count seem off? Okay, just a second. Something not right here. Just a second, I gotta count. Okay, hold on. I messed up somewhere. Yeah. 
Yeah, I messed up somewhere because... I have a few more stitches that I'm supposed to. But... I don't think... If I make a little bit fatter later, ladybug, it's all good. Because I'm not tearing it out. I might have to because I got way too many stitches. <laughs> ah. Oh, you broke your toe, Mary? I fractured my feet once, my toes. Um, this was when I was in my 20s and I was working at Kentucky Fried Chicken. And I bent down to unplug the, like, big... Um, it's like a chicken warmer after the chicken's cooked you throw it in a warmer and when I went to stand back up my shoulder knocked the fire hydrant off the wall and it came down and fractured all my toes that was really painful that was so bad so I just gotta count because something's, something's going wrong with this round here okay So I have 21 stitches and I'm only supposed to have 18. So I just don't want to redo this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak this ladybug. He might be a little mutant, but that's okay. <laughs> Because when you're chatting, it's, 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 yeah. So as long as I have 24 on this round, I'll be fine. He's going to be a fat, juicy ladybug. That's all. That's all. Okay. Little ki kids aren't going to notice. I don't think anyway. Crochet Grove did some cute cats on her Instagram. It wasn't her pattern, but they were they were kind of like the loaf cat, but they were really cute. She did some really um, some really cute color changes.
Oh, I have 24 stitches, but his head is bigger than this head for some reason. I don't I I messed up somewhere along the line. Hi, Cena. Yeah, I messed up somewhere along the line. It's fine. I was concentrating because I messed up somehow. Um, I, I didn't want to rip it out, so <laughs> I was concentrating. Concentrating, which is probably why I messed up. <laughs> okay, let's add his eyes and his antennas. I think I'll do green again. I like matching. I'm going to do dark green eyes on this fella. Yes. Well, no, I didn't frog it out. I just tweaked it. <laughs> He's going to have a big old, big old head. <laughs> I'm too lazy to frog it out. I think it's the black yarn and I'm in my basement. It's hard to see. So. Yeah, because they expect you to do all the advertising, right? It's like, oh, well, they get their money. So that's all they care about. Yeah, well, if nobody's going to do your market again. Yeah, he's going to have a fat old head. Yep. He's still going to be cute, though. Like I find when uh, they're advertising, like you got to do more than just social media. You got to get the signs out on the road, right? And not like the week off, like a couple weeks in advance. Like there's definitely two markets that I want to do again this year because I did so good last year at them. But you gotta you gotta get signed up quick. Yeah, he got a big old head. <laughs> Still haven't got my pin number, Robin. I'm starting to think I ain't never gonna make no money on YouTube. And I don't know who you would contact. I've already re requested two, requested my pin twice. I don't know. I want my money. <laughs> Hi, Patty. Oh, you're making a whole stitches by Patty. I I I follow her on YouTube and Instagram.
I think she's making um, a little hermit crab right now. She's working on that. Why would they do that? Why would they hold the, I don't, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me, but I don't know. Yeah, she's got great content. And her dogs are so cute too. I don't know, but they better they better get it through custom soon. Cause I think I can only request it one more time. And then I think I'm gonna be going up the creek without a paddle. And I don't think the market on Sunday is going to be busy. The hobby farm, it's going to be too cold. So I don't know. I need to make some yarn money. Okay, one, two, three, four. So now I can start my decreases. So yeah, at the at the French Duck where I'm going to be on Saturday, there's no there's there's an outhouse, and you have to walk through like animal pens to get to it. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like camping in a way. I'll try to get some good footage. I will try. Yep. Yep. And there's a lot of new baby goats. They're so cute. And I think they they just got some new emus. Emus, is that how you pronounce it? And I think they're quite young because they don't look very big. And they look like they're quite fun and energetic. <laughs> My, fr my vendor friend that's going to be there, she's afraid of those kind of birds. I'm like, I can't wait to see them. <laughs> Hi. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Oh, it was beautiful here today. It was like 10 degrees. The sun was shining. It was so nice. Why couldn't we have today's weather on Saturday? I would like that. Oh, there's a cute hippo pattern on Instagram. Um, I don't know the name of the handle um, I, but it's really cute I saved it but I haven't I haven't made it it's kind of similar to all from Jade's hippo um, she has a cute hippo too
um, after this live stream is over. Um, I usually watch the replays again and I will try to link that free hippo Instagram pattern. Um, I'm trying to think how am I going to get that to you. Uh, yeah, I would love to like go somewhere warm, but I don't like the heat either, so I'm screwed either way. <laughs> I would do good in Vancouver. I don't think it gets too cold there. But the cost of living is so high. Um, all from Jade has a cute dino. Um, and it's no so. It's pretty easy to do. Um, I haven't really done a lot of dinosaurs, um, but I do like all from Jade's die though. It's really cute. Oh my god, I can't, I can't concentrate tonight for some reason. Oh. Now, this is an easy pattern, but there are a couple of rounds that you got to keep an eye on what you're doing. Hi, Moshe. I hope I said that right. I'm no good at pronunciations. I'm doing great. be enough for a five dollar octopus hi Kelsey okay I'm just gonna add a little bit more stuffing okay that's good cuz I'm not good with names my hair gets into everything So yeah, I don't think I'm going to get an eye video up this week. Um, and then I got two markets this weekend, so I'll be busy prepping for that. Um, I'm going to try to get one of those dogs done this week, because I mean, I did, I did win that pattern pack. Where am I now? You mean, where do I live? I live in Nova Scotia, Canada. Nova Scotia, Canada. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Todd might be following her. He keeps that nonsense up. Okay. What did I do with my own black hair there?
Nova Scotia's real boring. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind living here. It's pretty much as far east in Canada that you can get. Yep. Geez, that was just a lot of them all at once coming in. <laughs> Hi, Crafty Sue. Have you been to Nova Scotia before, Sue? I've never been to Florida. I would like to, though, one day. I think I'd have to get a passport, though. Hi, Gareth. Okay. Many years ago. So, where in Nova Scotia did you visit? Yeah, there's lots of people um, from Florida in here tonight. Like, if you come to Nova Scotia, I recommend Peggy's Cove. Um, I've lived here all my life, and I've never even, like, traveled Nova Scotia. <laughs> so bad. Uh, I don't get out much. I don't get out much. Hi, Susie. You're from Iran? Cape Britain, okay. Um, the last time I was in Cape Breton was, I think I was 12 years old and my dad took us up in the highlands and we were like fishing and camping and lots of moose seen lots of moose in cape breton life is short you know what we're going to be mortgage free next year so i'm hoping that we can start traveling once we get our house paid for yeah hopefully but then we would have to find a puppy sitter for milo <laughs> um which I don't think would be a problem, you know. Don't think that would be a problem. But yeah, hopefully soon. Um, but my my husband's military, so he's he's traveled all over the world, and um, he had a career like a career of it. So getting him to travel might be a little tricky. But yeah. You only live once, right? So. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having an RV and doing a little bit of traveling. So we doubled our mortgage a couple of, um, I'm gonna say five years ago, we doubled our mortgage payments and we knocked like 10 years off of our mortgage. So we are pretty excited. Yeah. Because I'll be 52 this year and he'll be 50. He just turned 54. So um, we're still pretty young to like, you know, see parts of the world. <laughs> I would like to take my dad on a nice trip somewhere. Um, you know, maybe after my mom passes away, get my dad on a trip somewhere, get him, you know, through the hurdle that he's been going through. 
Look at the top of my chat. Yeah, we're pretty excited. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing he never wanted to do was rent, right? So. All right. There is another little ladybug. Two ladybugs. Look at the black glitter. Aren't they cute? So I've been pumping a bunch of these out in different colors. Okay. Are you coming to Nova Scotia, Colin? 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 I mean, I like it here because our winters are not too crazy and I'm really close to the ocean. We have some really nice beaches in Nova Scotia, but there's lots of Nova Scotia that I haven't even seen yet. Like I've never been to Yarmouth. I've never seen the Cabot Trail. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be like house hunting with the prices now. It's crazy. Like my sister and her man and kids, like they're still renting. Like, I don't know if they'll ever own a house. Hi, Staten. Okay, well, I guess I guess this is it. I got two little ladybugs done. I've been on for an hour and 23 minutes. Can you believe that? Yep, so I made two little ladybugs. I got a bunch of these done in different colors. I think I got 12 of them upstairs. Yeah, it. I mean, there's some places that's cheaper to rent, but even our rent here is cra like crazy too. Like it's, I don't know how people are doing it. I'm glad that we're close to having our house paid for. And a lot of people like when, like after COVID and the, the, the prices of the houses went right crazy. Um, there was so many people sell, selling their homes. And I'm like, that's great if you're 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 making two, three hundred thousand dollars on your home, but you gotta go buy another house somewhere else. Like, I don't know. I think you're smart just to stay where you are. Right? Yep, yeah, all from Jade. She has this uh, tutorial on her YouTube. Yeah, and we we thought about renting out like our basement and stuff. Yeah, I don't think I would like that too much. Nope. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna call it quits, and I'm gonna go upstairs and get ready for my hockey game. Probably watch them lose again. I'm sure. They're not doing very good. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, uh, Robin, for MODing. Nice to see you, Nicole. I go live every Wednesday night. Thank you, Robbie. I mean, I shouldn't wish the season away, but they're not a good playoff team, so. <laughs> 
Okay, we'll talk to you later. Have a great night, everybody. I am feeling so much better, I can't even tell you. Thank you, Trudy. Feeling so much better. <laughs> Hi, Diana. So a lot of people came in that I didn't even know was in here. All right, night-night, see you later.